Dela Wright, my envies. Welcome. Report reaching us allegedly is that, you know, the Odua traditional court has, you know, uh, disgraced and humiliated uh, Blue Blue over the fact that she had the effrontery to bring the case um, against Olorinami and the owner of Ife to their table. And now, what is this case? The case is, you know, um, um, about the fact that she disapproved of um, Olorinami's stay in the royal manor. That the royal manor is not meant for a woman. Man, um, a royal, the royal manor is meant for a king. That um, uh, visitors who are kings in other kingdoms are supposed to be able to visit the Oni of Ife and find, you know, it comfortable to stay in the royal manor. That Oni of Ife was not supposed to give the royal manor to Olori Naomi. That is an abuse of power, and um, uh, Oni of Ife is using, you know, um, the. Uh, property of Odua people to uh, do love with Olorinami is not supposed to be so. She stated that the reason why she is doing this is not because she is jealous of anything. It is because she is the daughter of the soil and, you know, it um, uh, beholds on her to uh, make decisions that she feels will be in the best interest of um, the Odua people that um, they don't want to do anything that will go um, contrary to, you know, what their um, ancestors want, want anything that will make um, the Odua people be put um, in trouble, and especially the royal family, that she is wifefully married into the royal family. Perhaps um, KBSC is um, 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 not really, it's not, KBSC does not know what he is doing because of um, the influence of um, Olori Naomi. And so she took it upon herself to bring the matter to the traditional court so they can, you know, um, look into it and see what they can do to uh, revoke um, the right of Oni of Ife to keep uh, Queen Naomi in the royal manor. Now, they say that when this happened there, eh, it was as if they just blow um, a trumpet uh, of anger. That like these people were very, very angry. Uh, angry that what um, uh, Blow Blow saw was so much anger and disapproval from all uh, uh, um, um, these people. The reason happens to be that. Um, Blow Blow had done a whole lot of things that nobody would have expected Blow Blow to have done. Going, they said they started with the uh, 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 protective charm. They said if she said that everything she's doing, she's doing in the interest of the Yoruba people. What happened with collecting the protective charm of the Oni of Ife? Something that you know has the capacity of ruining KBSC's life completely. You went ahead and you collected the protective charm. And later you said it was Dr. Akande that made you to do it. And it was Dr. Akande's idea from the very beginning that um, the way you were wheeled into um, the whole thing is something that you do not understand. And you guys, because you come from a very influential traditional family, you guys have you know stood by that and up until now nothing has been done um to serve as deterrent to other people so of everybody who will work in the interest of the yoruba people you are the least person and you have no right whatsoever to bring um the only of ife here only of ife is king the last time we checked he has a, a, a right to do whatever he wants to do with the royal manor um, and, and that's his kingdom for now. Whoever wants to stay, KBC has the right to keep them wherever he wants to keep them. That's his right, that's his decision. If he says that he wants Kinami to stay in the royal manor, it's not up to you. And the court, um, the traditional court, cannot do anything to change that decision from um, the Oni of Ife if that is exactly what the Oni of Ife wants. That the reason why you brought this issue here is because you are jealous. You don't want Naomi to be in the palace. You're very, very happy that right now, Naomi cannot stay with the owner of Ife in the same apartment, and Naomi has no apartment to stay in the palace. Now, if Nami had agreed to stay in a lesser apartment, it would have been some kind of relegation for Olori Nami. And that's exactly what the Oni of Ife himself does not even want. And that was why Oni decided to bring Nami to stay in the royal manor. They said that it was such an embarrassment they gave to her. The documents and everything that she brought, the drink that she brought to come and summon um, um, uh, Olori Nami and this issue. They said they asked her to take the drinks away. Everything 
something that the court refused to um, uh, use anything. And as a matter of fact, they never even sat or to even consider, you know, this um, drama with um, uh, um, Olori um, e uh, Blow Blow. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Delorum. I bring you fresh and spicy juice from the sauce still on the Royals. How are you guys doing? I appreciate you so much. Happy midweek to you. I love you, Asia. I do well. If you're yet to subscribe, kindly go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and do not forget to turn on the notification bell. And do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. As we are here, you know, if this information is true, um, 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 um and uh, it is said that, you know, um, Blow Blow got the biggest humiliation of her lifetime. As she thought of what to do, and she thought that it was a great idea to bring um, uh, Oni Ovifi and Queen Naomi before the Ubua traditional court over what? Over the Royal Manor. The Royal Manor happens to be an event that has destabilized the Oloris. The Oloris would never, ever have thought that, you know, it would get to a point where uh, Queen Naomi would have this kind of authority um, and be in the Royal Manor while they stay outside the palace, where they find it very difficult to even um, um, spend time with the only of a fair. That um, this is the one thing that is plaguing them so much and they will do anything to ensure that this does not happen. And because of this, they say Blo Blo brought this case be um, before they would do a traditional court, which they feel is very disrespectful, which they feel that Blo Blo is biting more than she can chew, which they also feel that this is the fault of the Oni of Ife. Now, uh, they have told Oni of Ife time and time again to let this woman, these women go. And the reason why Kamiyasi is still keeping them is what a lot of them are saying they do not understand. Even though um, paying a closer look to what is going on, a lot of people have said that, you know, there is something. When Tolu came from the United States, Tolu said, allegedly as it is rumored, that a father before he passed on had told her that uh, uh, these women have got something on the only of Ife, that uh, pa Paropo and others should do anything that is within their power to ensure that they help to free Oni of Ife because Oni of Ife is likely going to be plagued by, you know, whatever it is that this woman has got, this woman has got on um, him for a very long time. When Tolu said that, it, you, you know, um, um, uh, it resonated with a lot of people because people have also thought that there's something deeper than the eyes can see. And that's the reason why KBSA is um, um, still with this women. Now, going also by some of the things that him, the only of if first say sometimes they said, he got angry the other day. He said well, um, uh, everything that the Oloris have asked him to do, he has done. Um, uh, he even had to keep Kwinami out of the palace to leave her there so she can be safe with Tade Nikawo. That uh, she had already, he had already told them that he will go with them to wherever they want him to go with them to. Any um, event that he's ready to be there with them and everything that everything they wanted he gave them the only oh, sorry about that the only thing that he asked was for Queen Naomi to be safe sorry can't just part pass me I I I got some some people can be so lousy eh? so everything that Queen Naomi and uh, um, they asked he had given and the only thing he, he's asking of them is to allow Queen Naomi have her peace allow Queen Naomi rest but that if that is too much for them for him to act. He does not know how he can help them anymore. They said Kabiesi felt so bad and Kabiesi made this known to them. So when Kabiesi begins to talk like this, people people begin to understand that there's probably more. Look at this. There's probably more, okay, um, to this that meets the eyes. And so this is what has been going on. They said um, uh, Blah Blah was so humiliated by the people, the conveners of, you know, Odua traditional court. I'm going to bring you more updates. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.